Okay. I think I remember how to play. I haven't actually played this in a week. Uh, because my internet's been down. And it's throwing me for a loop. Okay. And... It seems like my best option is truly... Ow, root. It seems like my best option is truly to die. Uh... And by that, I mean... Attempt to kill this guy. Oh, shoot. Okay, there we go. Just going to clear a lot of distance here. Nope, that ain't gonna work. Now, I know I could parry that one, but I've forgotten how to parry. That's like the one thing. Yeah, it seems like it seems like this is my best. This is my best strategy. There we go. Oops. This is the bad place. Duck there. Empty missiles into his face. Oops. There we go. Turns out I can jump that one. Okay, cool. Ow. Nope. Deserved that. Okay, this might take a, another try. There we go. Yeah, it's gonna take another try. I know that one I can parry, but identifying it is tougher. But it looks like this hop over his head, flip side, shoot him with missiles. It's the way to go. It's just a matter of, like, remembering how to freaking play. I... I hate to say, this is one of those games that I think I wish there was an easy, easy mode for. Yeah, that's the one I can parry. I just... Is... No. Nope. That ain't it. Ah! That's how I parry. There we go. Ow. There we go. Avoid that. Yeah, see, that's... That's the move I'm scared of. There we go. Take it slow. Take it slow. Don't take the hit. Because that's, that's the hit that I cannot take. Ow. I mean, a number of these are the hits that I, I cannot take. But that one especially is rough. And I know I can parry that one. I know it's worth it. But it's so freaking hard to pull off. Without getting absolutely beasted by the red shot. I know it's... I know it's blue. I know I can process that. Oh, I got him. Yeah, I was right. Turns out cheese strats are, are better than actually trying to fight him with finesse. Um, I feel kind of guilty about that sort of thing, but for me, I haven't played this game in a while. And it was more in more important for me to just kind of... Oops. Uh... No, it's... There we go. There we go. Oh, shoot. I... I'm just gonna pile shots into them. Nope, that ain't it. There we, there we go. At, at, there we go. There we kind of go. This is this game really makes you do the spider finger thing, where you're just like, is. Is any of this the right way to control the game? And the answer is yes, but boy, 
keeping control of all of that is harder than I remember it. Uh, it's not harder than I remember it. Harder than I want it to be. Okay. And I don't know if we've run into this spooker for this zone yet. It's right there. But it's frozen for the time being. Okay. I remember how to parry now. Yeah, it just needs a little bit of practice on that timing. I think it's fine. I think I'll be fine. I, th I think I should be able to clear this no problem for the rest of this game. There's just that, like, initial lack of confidence. Uploading data. Samus, you are approaching the surface. This area, Gabarin, appears to be an underground forest. The enemy have been deactivated. But Raven Beak still desires the Metroid DNA within you. I have reviewed the video log of your encounter after your arrival. You were no match for him then. You are no match for him now. It is true that you have recovered many of your combat abilities. However, my analysis suggests that you would not be a worthy adversary for him, not even at full power. One thing still eludes me. Why did Raven Beak spare you during that encounter? Something must have motivated him. Uh, there we go. Boy, I'm not used to wearing my headset for this. It's very strange. Oh, no, it's that thing. I think I need a... Ow. I need, I need like, a cold beam or a cold suit to actually be able to get that one. Now, that looks like the output. There we go. Nope, that ain't it. There we go. I see that creature there. Nothing. It seemed like the output for a... Woo. Hi. Oh, I can parry this sucker. Or I could just do that to him. Aw. It's cute. It must die. Looks like it's got gravity powers. I don't know what that purple beam does, but it seems spooky. There we go. Eh, mostly got my bits back now. No, it's this? No. One second, I must kill. There we go. Got it. my juice back, you murderous fiends. No, that ain't gonna work. I guess I'll just do it the slow way. Kill them dead as they spawn. Alright. And yeah, nothing to do with that. And hello, what is this? Oh, it's a fast travel. Sure, why not? I have not worn my headset in a while, and boy, it is making my ears itchy. I I stopped wearing it specifically because it was it was actually causing me physical pain. It's part of the reason why I haven't recorded a whole lot with Shell lately, but also, you know, certain games had to stop because straight up I, I could not record them in my usual configuration. I had to be in front of my computer in front of a standing mic with a completely different type of headset on. And I've gotten so used to that over the last, you know, month, Two months? Two months. Eh, it's more like a month and a half at this point. Um, you know, I've gotten so used to that that it's been, you know, quite comfortable for me. And now, you know, going back to this, I could do the standing desk, or the standing, I could do the headset. But, like, why? There we go. Because it's way more, uh, way more uncomfortable to record anything console-based. Uh, with a static mic in front of me. Okay, so we don't actually want to be there, I don't think. Unless I have to be. I have no idea. I mean, there's clearly an energy regen thing, so I, I might actually have to be here to do this. 
Oh, energy is at maximum. Hmm. Well, let me take a look. Uh. I... Okay. Let's go back to Gavarin. Gavorn. Are there any doors? Is that just a regular power beam door? That I just missed? <laughs> Whoops. Because, yeah, we don't know how to break that yet. I, I think I have to go back. This is a nice way to, to go back, but I don't think we have much of a benefit to it yet. Let's go back. Let's go check that door. And see what it nets us. The amount of sparks that that puts out actually worries me more than a little, to be honest. Huh. Okay, I'm gonna write that down. I... So... It should be at least somewhat clear. Uh... Clear? I don't know. Most of you guys listening to my videos should probably have a decent idea that I, I've been trying to edge my way into reviews. Okay. But reviews and, like, video essays, because I think uh, I derive a lot of um, satisfaction out of those. It's very hard to have a running commentary while I'm typing things out on my phone. Okay, uh, but so I've been trying to get into video essays and the like lately. Ow, rude. I'm not gonna actually try and kill this thing this time around. Yeah, I never actually went through here. I'm not actually sure what does more damage to them. Aha, so I can't go through there. Because I can't, most certainly cannot go through there. Oh, shit. There we go. We're fine. Uh, let's see. Any of this missly? Sometimes it is, sometimes it is not. Oh, is this the cold suit? Or super missile? Gosh, I love the environment design on this. Stronger version of the missile. Hold R Y to fire consumes missile ammo. Can destroy super missile covers, which are the green ones. Fair enough. Oops. Oh. Of course. Wow. Those do some damage. Okay. Anyway, I was gonna say, uh, so I've been wanting to do, there's like a couple of video essays that I'd love to do specifically, specifically in relation to Metroid Dread. Um, cause I, I don't think I want to do traditional reviews that much just because I find them to be, anybody does those, everybody does those. And, you know, it feels like there, there was something in the background there. I'm also seeing what looks to be like a giant tail. I don't know. Um, but it's like, you know, I could do reviews, but I, I feel like everybody does those, you know, especially traditional games media. Right, use the bomb to trigger it. Uh, and I think for me, I would enjoy doing more, like, topical things based on, well, something important from every game. I wonder if I can actually destroy those... this. Or if I need a, I need a cold beam. Got it. And so one thing I noticed specifically about this game is that it, it pushes the, the narrative and the visual of Samus being a badass. And, I mean, you know, were I to say to you, Samus is a badass, you'd be like, no duh, Samus is a badass. But there's a difference between being told that someone is a badass and being shown that someone is a badass. And there's a very important distinction in that. And most games are just like, yeah, this character is a badass, look at him. 
he drinks beer and and you know he isn't afraid to speak his mind he's a dick to everybody and it's just like after a certain point you kind of feel like he's not a badass that's actually a very weak person that just uh that just expresses strength by being a turd um and i i think there's often this this perception that that is somehow strength wow this is is a very small area. Um, and I think Samus might be doing a better job of being a ba being visibly a badass over the course of this game. You know, every single time you see her confront a boss, you know, Kraid, you have Kraid just pulling against his chains trying to get at her. And she is just standing there staring at him like it's nothing. You know, this is a thing that is just a gazillion times her size. And admittedly, she has killed Kraid a couple of times at this point, so it's not that much of an achievement for her anymore. But the, the body language and the way that it is portrayed is just so inherently badass in a way that most games try and fail miserably. I don't think they do it perfectly, but I think it's one of the first games I've ever seen a game pantomime being a badass without feeling like it's trying too hard. I love these cutscenes. I really hope Prime 4 has a number just like it. I really like the visuals on those banners. Let's see if there's anything else here. That doesn't look like it. Eh. Why not? Nope. Looks like we're good. This is a new area. I'm digging it. Oh. I guess that's more of a volume of shots than anything else. This whole place is falling apart. I'm really curious if this whole ex-mutant thing, uh, oh shoot, whatever they're called, if that, like, really messed up the Chozo Warrior group, and that we just hadn't seen it until now. There we go. Wall jumps are weird. Whoa. Yep. Okay, X Parasite re mimicking enemy will revert to its original gelatinous form and defeat it. Holy shit. Tough sucker? Okay. I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna absorb it. Uh, let's see. Yep, there we go. That was a tough sucker, but not a particularly smart one. It seems like this whole X-Parasite thing really got out of hand. Okay, so the answer is just parry those suckers. There we go. Ooh, 
creaky. I don't like it. Okay, anything here for me to destroy? Oh, you know what? Probably that. There we go. Yeah, I'm, I'm wondering if straight up the reason why he spared Samus was not actually because he wanted the Metroid DNA anymore. But because the X Parasites wrecked everyone. Plasma beam acquired. I was wondering about that. And I was like, boy, the missiles just got a power boost, but what about the gun? Alright, it's a powerful stream of plasma that can pierce through multiple enemies and damage robotic enemies without the need to charge. Press Y to fire. It can also destroy plasma covers. Okay. Absorb the X. Okay. Didn't quite work. There we go. I feel like that timing was less tight in the other group. Probably was, actually. Oh. Well. Ow. Nope. I don't... There we go. I'm just gonna probably ignore it. Except for where am I going? Ah. I'm going here. Ow. Rude. This sucks. Okay. Okay, I don't quite have my parrying skills back. Okay, let's just mulch the lot of these guys. There we go. There's something slightly unsettling about the idea of absorbing the X parasite. Uh. Oh. Oh, I see. It's the wrong side. Okay, I did kill it. I was wondering if I could. Oh, and that's a boss door. Already? Alright. It seems... I... I realize that, like, yeah, it's fine. But I'm getting some, like, weird body horror out of all of this. Like, how much does this mess up your biology? How are you? How do you even remain stable? All right. All right. Seems like just health missiles and shoots. There we go. Yep. It's oh boy, howdy. Out. Oh gosh. Okay. There we go. Kind of. Freaky, creepy. Okay. Ow. Wasn't sure when to parry that one. Ow. I'm just gonna reset it. Uh, let's do that again. Now, here's the question. Do I have to kill the door beast again? I don't think so. Oh, good.
I don't. I have all my materials, and I should be able to avoid most of the initial attacks. Especially because it doesn't have a shockwave. There we go. There we go. And we're good. Now it's this. Yeah, we're going faster. I So much of this game is pattern recognition. Which I kind of dearly love. There's something really satisfying about a... About a game that is... More or less just understanding your enemy. And, I mean, an amount of reflex test. Damn it. There we go. Damn it. Yeah, it's gonna take a couple of tries. Avoid. Damn it. I'm getting better at it, but I'm not getting that much better at it. <laughs> and like every failure brings me closer to getting the timing right. If I can get that timing right on that specific thrust, then I think I got the parry down. I think then we got the boss down. I do like this boss a little bit better. The uh the weird underwater one required maybe just a little bit too much uh finagling of the controls. This is a lot more traditional. I really love that hyper dash. I do wish it would let me specifically work through enemies. I understand why it doesn't. I just wish it did. Don't stand there. Just don't stand there. Don't take that. And he's easy. There we go. Alright. Damn it. It's a multi parry. That's fun. Ow. I was just assuming parry once, B5. Nope. So I, I think I had to parry him once, otherwise he was invincible. Neat. Huh. Okay. I want that energy tank. There we go. There we go. That'll help. Looks like I can't get out of here conventionally. But that's fine. So do we want to go up? Sure. What is up? Dog? What is, in fact, up dog? I'm just gonna keep tossing those all over the place. These lead me to the promised land of loot and goodies. Okay. Shit. Oh. Eat bomb. Oh, wait, no. There's no, in fact, no bomb to eat. Eh, close enough. I think that's how we get back. I think, are we here purely for... I think we're here purely for the missiles. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know how to get to that.
Huh. Uh, yeah. there we go. Okay, I'm not here. Oops. There it goes. Give me them sweet goops. There we go. Okay, so do we go for the missiles? Mm. Yeah, I might as well, just in case this happens to be a... Wait, this... Damn it. This doesn't bring me to the missiles. Okay. Oh. Well, we still don't know what that stuff is. Where is here? Where go? What do? What be here? Oh. This is actually... Oh. This is actually where I get it. Is this where I get it? An unknown resource has been acquired. You cannot use this item yet. <laughs> well, I mean, at least it's honest. Okay. There we go. Anyway, to go back to my, um... My thing that I was talking about with badasses and Samus being one and so on and so forth. What are some other games or franchises or whatever where the character is specifically badass? In a way that, like, doesn't rely on them just being awful. Because I was talking about this during my, like, shoot, uh, fairly short-lived cookie cast series that I was doing, where it feels like as a, a guy, I'm often presented with the image of the badass man. Like, to be a badass man, you have to kind of be just a dick to people. I want to try and go for that. There's like a couple of secrets here. No, I gotta come back for this anyway, so I'll just leave it for later. But you know, oh boy. I wonder if they're actually weaker to the plasma beam. I have no idea. Okay, got them both. I think that one's just gone. Whatever, I'll be fine. Oh. But yeah, to be a badass, you have to kind of be awful to the people in your surroundings. Oh, hello. Was this a quarantine chamber then? Oh no. We let them loose. Are we going to have to backtrack through the entire facility? But everything is going to be different because the X-Parasites have just started going wild? That's probably it. I get the feeling this planet is not going to survive the process. Because, yeah, I'm trying to think of other characters that, like, really are badass in a way that, you know, they aren't just kind of awful. Because I... The thought that pops into my head is specifically God of War. That the original 1, 2, and 3 for God of War, yeah, Kratos was a badass, but he was, like, angry and unhappy. Whereas, I feel like he was a lot more of a... a proper badass in... Oh boy. Did it? Oh no.
Bird friend. Yep. Oh boy, that's got a frost beam. Well, that sounds spooky. Anyway, I... Uh... There we go. I can grab that. Yeah, so we're going to have to deal with... We're going to have to deal with enhanced... Ex-mutant variants of most of the creatures we've written encountered so far in this game. Are even... Even these things are ex-parasites. I can't parry for beans. There we go. There we go. At least I can get the popcorn back. But yeah, how many of these things are ex-parasites? Freaking everything is an ex-parasite now. Well, I gotta... I gotta give it the opportunity to back off a little. I still can't break those. Right, because there's the cold beam. Now, do we actually talk to him? Uploading data. The X have been released from their confinement. They have now scattered across the planet. This is no doubt the work of Raven Beat. His motives are still a mystery. But your Metroid DNA grants you immunity to the X parasites. You can even absorb them. Perhaps it was some kind of message. Regardless, the X are here. They are overrunning the planet. They must be destroyed. Hurry to your ship, Samus. I trust you will make it here safely. I'm still weirded out by the fact that he's calling us Samus as opposed to Lady. I... How much do you want to bet that Ravenbeak took over... What? Is it called Adam? And has specifically just been talking to us through Adam this entire time. I'm gonna bank on it. Oh shit! Well, on the plus side, the X parasites give mad EXP. EXP? Uh, mad resources. It's kind of nice. Obviously, they're a lot scarier, but uh, I was wondering how we were going to get all of our HP back. I'm not going to get that stuff. Yeah, I was wondering how we get all of our HP and missiles back, uh, you know, with how big my HP bar is. A lot of the enemies are pretty generous, but not that generous. This, this feels good, but uh, it's odd. I'm not streaming this anymore because I can't. I can't stream either. <laughs> it's fine. Uh, let's see. So I guess this is a good stopping point. So I will see you guys in the next episode of Metroid Dread. And I don't know, feels like we're cl inching closer to maybe not the end, but the point where I can finally turn around and start uh, truly backtracking through everything and grabbing all the stuff, which I'm really looking forward to. But for now, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.